Hey guys, Psycho316 here. Today we are going to be making refried beans, so let's go get started. Welcome to Pew Pew Park. First, we heat 6 to 12 cups of water. I used 6 cups this time, and I noticed there wasn't enough water left over once the beans were done cooking, so I would suggest at least 8 cups. Add 1 tablespoon of salt and 2 to 4 cloves of garlic, according to your taste. I'm using garlic paste this time. Garlic powder also works, but remember, fresher is always better. Add two cups rinsed pinto beans. You don't have to soak them at all. Bring to a boil and cook two to three hours until soft. This batch took about two hours and 20 minutes. Towards the end of the cooking process, on those beans, remove the seeds from one medium or two small serrano chiles and finely mint. Then take one half of a medium white onion and finely mince that. In a pan, add one tablespoon oil and cook on medium heat until the onion is soft and translucent. You don't want to get too much color on these onions or serrano. Once the onions and serrano chiles are soft enough, you can add the cooked beans, including the liquid, to the pan. And using a potato masher, we're going to, we're going to mash it all together. That's all it takes to make refried beans. It's super simple and delicious. Okay guys, here I am. Uh, got the, uh, the beans right here. Pay no attention to the rest. I'm, this is gonna be my lunch when I'm done here. But I just wanna try out these beans real quick. Got a nice piece of serrano. Got a hint of garlickiness. Really smooth, it got little bits of bean still, so it's not completely smooth, which I actually prefer. Uh, you can see the serrano chili adds some good flavor to it. It's definitely something you'll like trying to make. Uh, it's so simple. It does take a little while, but it's mostly 
inactive time, you can do other things uh, while the beans are cooked and softening up. I had uh, these beans with the rice, uh, some tortillas, some corn tortillas up here, and then compare that with like rotisserie chicken or some type of chicken dish. And you got yourself a killer uh, dinner or lunch even. I hope you liked this recipe. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, I'll try making something else another time. Until then, you guys have a good day.